I keep thinking about what he would say and what he would say to me, and he'll say, Mama, you got this. Well, it has now been four years since Emmanuel Quarles disappeared without a trace. Now a man is facing charges in his death. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford was the only one in court as Carrie Cobb was arraigned on murder charges. She joins us now from the Anderson County Sheriff's Office with this exclusive story. So, Nicole, tell us more. Well, Diane and Tom, the issue with this case was that it spanned multiple counties, including two, three sheriff's offices and two solicitor's offices. So it begged the question of who has the jurisdiction. So when Sheriff Chad McBride turned the case over to the Attorney General's office in September, that's when things started to change. So to give you a little background information on this case, Emmanuel Quarles was reported missing from Pendleton in April of 2015. The investigation led detectives to the Roadrunner store near Seneca and later a pickup truck with his blood inside was found in Pickens County. Anderson County Sheriff's Office tells me they always believed Kerry Cobb was involved. And this week, the Attorney General's Office indicted him for the murder of Qualas, but before a judge Friday morning, Cobb pleaded not guilty. This just happened the day before yesterday. They come and locked me up and told me I was being indicted on the murder. And I, okay. I was, I've been on house arrest for the last four years. My mom's in real bad shape. I'm taking care of her. Now, this case is unique. While Emmanuel's family feels some sense of relief, there's still no sign of his body. It's real hard, but to me, I don't consider him as gone. I consider him as out there and he's searching and looking for me as well as I'm searching and looking for him. Now, this is only one of five cases in the state of South Carolina where someone has been indicted for murder with no body ever being recovered. But the sheriff's office investigators tell me they're confident based on the evidence that Emmanuel is deceased so they can move forward with this case. We're live in Anderson County tonight. Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, a most unusual case for sure, but this is perhaps is unusual too. It's been four years since the young man disappeared. Why are charges coming now? Well, Tom, because it included three sheriff's offices and two solicitor's offices, and over those four years, we've seen a lot of leadership change. So with Sheriff McBride taking office, he actually took a look at some of the cold cases, felt that this one hadn't really gone cold yet, presented it to the attorney general's office, and that's when they took over in September, ultimately leading to this indictment for murder. Yeah, sounds like a lot of pieces to this puzzle. Thank you, Nicole.